Hello, and uh, we are coming to you today from our own private server in the War Z, and with me is Rabid Gorilla. How's it going? All right. Um, so War Z had a big update. Obviously, private servers. I mean, we've kind of got our own thing going on here. We are the only two guys on this server at the moment, but we're hoping to change that. But uh, in the meantime. What we've been doing, I haven't had a whole lot of time since they uh, patched things in to explore, but uh, a few things that have happened. Uh, it seems spawns are very weaponless these days. Oh yeah, if you need food, meds, drink, they've got you covered on that. But um, beyond that, uh, finding weapons seems to be difficult. And actually, where are we going? Anyways, where do you want to go? Well, uh, we're right here by uh, whatever this is. Let's go check that out. Superior Junction? All right. So a uh, few things that we've observed. Uh, one, zombies are definitely more aggressive and more social. What this means is uh, before when you can pull one out of a group and kill it, now you end up getting four, five, six of them at a time. It makes things very, very interesting. So also, uh, also on top of that, there is an increased uh, zombie amount in every place you go. So I think what they've done is they've made private servers uh, more of the PVE zombie experience. I mean, we can still kill each other. I could shank Rabbit right now if I wanted to, but I I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, Fireman first responder, don't do that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm need needed. <laughs> But uh, what we've come to find out here is that uh, the zombies are definitely a lot meaner, a lot more aggressive, and uh, they still cheap shot you. So even if they don't hit you, you still sometimes get damaged. And yeah, see, here comes two of them. And as we were just talking about being hit, I just got hit. Exactly. But I mean, look at the amount of zombies here compared to what this used to be. Now, granted, they've done a few other things, too, in the last change. Uh, graphically, they've changed a lot of the buildings and the way things look. It does look a lot better. Uh, it may not transfer into the video looking as good as it does while you're playing it, but trust me, it does look better. Uh, I need a hatchet. As much as I love the tack knife... I need a hatchet. No, what you need, my friend, is a machete. A hatchet is an instant two-hit kill. Downswing. Even though I do love the tac knife. So, for those of you who are actually interested in the PvE experience of War Z, private servers are the greatest thing they could have done, because we don't have to worry about getting killed by hackers or getting our face shot off anymore. Uh, now we just worry about getting eaten by zombies. Uh, I was at the uh, airstrip last night when the server first came up. I was testing it. And oh man, I almost died three times. Yeah, uh, I had a failed uh, screenshot attempt earlier of an area that usually has no zombies. And there was a good 50 zombies in a one clustered area. Well, I mean, look at the town here. This is insane. And with the diminished loot drops, it's actually become harder to find things. Now, I haven't been on any of the public servers since they've done this. Uh, but I do know that the populations on those servers have gotten a lot higher. So um, the free ride that we've all enjoyed up to this point is definitely over. Uh, unless, of course, you get on a private server. But then again, there's not a whole lot of PvP happening on the private servers. Unless, you know, you're organizing some events or doing things like that. Uh, yes, like an event that I am attempting to organize now, which is going to be Team Deathmatch with Zombies. Oh, fuck this. Let's put it this way. If, if you want to play War Z and you haven't signed up on our forums yet, I suggest you do that. Um... We have, uh, just, just go to un forums unfair. Uh, you know what, there's gonna be an annotation. You see the annotation at the top? Click it. That says join us. Yeah, click that annotation. Uh, register up on the forums. You'll get be able to see the private forum section. Uh, so you'll find all the login information, things like that, and how to get with us. We have TeamSpeak. We have a fair amount of people who play this on a daily basis. And yeah, we're always looking for more people to come join us.
Like this guy. <laughs> well, not this guy, because he's dead. Well, preferably live people. Prefer, yeah, preferably live people, but, uh, you know. We're, we're accepting. We don't discriminate. <laughs> But, you know, it, the private server thing is nice. It kind of changes the game, like, completely, because it, it is. It's, it's just so much nicer to know that you're not going to get shot in the face by somebody halfway across the map using aimbot and, you know, hacks. The only downside is, ever since this update, there is, seriously, I mean, look at this. There's nothing here. Oh, here's some bandages. Hooray. Yeah, they, they increased food and med supplies but and melee weapons I found so many baseball bats that I have just walked past and uh, but guns guns are the extreme rarity now I guess that has its purposes too I mean you know you're not gonna find ridiculous amounts of guns I guess what they were trying to say is this all happened five years ago so as this happened people have been through picked through everything you know so there's not going to be mass amounts of supplies everywhere and that makes sense uh, to a it point. does it does it's just that we're so used to finding certain things in certain places that we're kind of disappointed like look instant oatmeal in the back of the military hummer we gotta go check that cop car over there. For what, flares and chem lights? I don't know, man. It's just a cop car and there's a lot of zombies over there between here and there. My experience with cop cars since the update is they all have flares or chem lights nine times out of ten. Well, I found some binoculars and a attack uh, knife in one of them. So I'll take an extra attack knife because up till now my melee inventory has been. I've not paid any attention to it. I've not cared. Hey, look. The chem light. Oh, my God. All right. Well. Let's but go yeah, grocery shopping. The, the increased amount of zombies has made it interesting. So while it, it's become much easier to not have to worry about players... Now you die to zombies. So, I mean, the game has not become easy, that's for sure. Yes, I remember being able to run Boulder with just a hammer, and now it's almost, you don't even want to do it. The plus side is... You don't even is, want to go into Boulder with even having a gun now. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to try that. That's going to be our next video, man. You and I, we're going to Boulder. The zombie presence there was insane to begin with. Imagine what it's got to be now. Oh, don't go in the front door. You oh, no, that's what we're doing. You try to go in off doing. that main street, you're boned. No, 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 no. That's what we're doing. I'm going to load up with as much ammo as I can carry, and we're going zombie hunting. That's what people will get to look forward to for the next video we do. Oh, there would be plenty of zombies there. <laughs> plenty of death, probably. Uh, what else is there to explore in this town? Uh, nothing. These are the, we went in the post office at the store. That's about it that's here. Alright, well, I got a plan then. Uh, let's uh, talk about some of the new features that were added aside from the uh, private servers. Uh, they've got uh, groups now. You can group up with up to uh, ten people. And people in your group, uh, their location shows up on your map. Yeah, which is actually pretty cool. Like, I've got the map open now. You can see where our clan mates are on the server right now. So, like, my yeah, arrow... and you don't even have to be in a group. If you're in a clan with someone, they're on the same server, they show up on your map as well. Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty handy. I do like that feature. Um, let's see. They've also added some new weapons and things like that, which I haven't found any of the new weapons. But I guess they, uh, put, the, they put the crossbow back, which used to be in the game at the beginning, but they put that back. They, um... Added another pistol and some other things, so... Yeah, and I was told that the machete was new, but the first time I saw it was after the update. Yeah, I don't think the machete's exactly new. <gasps> Hatchet! Happy days. Nice, and there was a baseball bat in here, in this house. 
Yes, I played, I believe, yesterday for a good hour before I found my first gun. I haven't found a gun since the update, but I also have not been playing much or haven't been looking, so for what that's worth. Oh, that's that's what I was doing. I was looking for guns. And right. yeah, I played for an hour, I found a Mossberg and an Anaconda. That was hey, it. Hey, let's haul ass to Boulder. Let, let's give people... Oh, hello. Hi, friends. This is what we have come to call as sleepers. I don't know if anyone else does that, but we do. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's run our asses to Boulder to give people a snapshot of what that's going to look like. It's going to be turning dark soon, and we definitely don't record when it's dark, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, go take a look real quick. That's what happened the last time you and I uh, played and recorded when it was dark. <laughs> All right, but here's the deal. Uh, we have a private server. It's obviously, you know, 50 slots. Uh, there's a good amount of us who play, but all at different times of the day and night and whatever. So what we're looking for is, hey, if you're playing War Z, you watch these videos, you listen to us or know anything about us, uh, we're looking for more people. So definitely click the thing at the top that says join us. Come to the forums, register. Uh, you can get in on the clan, come hang out. All kinds of fun. That's what we're trying to do. That's why we got a private server, so we can uh, grow our community a little bit. Yes, because we are little, but we would like to become big. Sounds kinky. Anyways. <laughs> it was supposed to be. They have a pill for that, don't they? Yeah, they do. They got a couple of them. Uh, yeah, the the countryside and the the travel is still sufficiently boring, you know, and that's just the nature of, I don't know. All, all these games are like this. This travel time is just killer. Yeah, it's just like uh, one of my friends who bought the game and played for half an hour with me and has not played since, and that was weeks ago. He's like, it's just too boring. Nah. Like, well, that's what happens when you're going from point A to point B. Well, you know, I was actually really worried about how the uh, how the private servers would impact the game. For example, you know, once everybody split off and went on to private servers, how boring the game would be. I mean, because part of the intense uh, fun of the game is the PvP aspect. But the problem is, is PvP turned into basically who's using ESP, who's using hacks versus the poor sons of bitches who aren't, you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that was very disappointing and upsetting. We actually, for a while there, just uh, the mass majority of our group just basically said fuck it. I mean, we all died one day. We were in the middle of uh, kind of a group get-together and we're planning a record as we were all getting together at, in Campos there. And all of a sudden, one guy who was uh, no-clip hacking, basically he's walking through walls, and uh, he just came and wiped us all out one day and... We brought our other characters in real quick to try and take him down, and it was impossible. I mean, it just one guy. And yeah, <laughs> losing three characters in five minutes is enough to just make you want to uninstall and walk away. And so, I mean, the the public end of this game is kind of a disgrace right now. It it's really sad because I wish it wasn't. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie and tell you this is the best game ever. I'm not gonna say it's the worst either. But the developers need to do something. They're, you know, fair fight bullshit, whatever that is. Yeah, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. Get get some real anti-cheat. Get something that, you know, scans client-side instead of server-side stuff. And, you know, uh, let's, let's get serious about this. Because anytime there's a competitive PvP game and you let the hackers run rampant, the game dies. I mean, so simple as that. A game can't survive if you're going to let the hackers rule it. So, yeah, I would love for that to become, you know, get under control because it's ridiculous when you go onto a server and you live for a whole whopping five minutes just outside of a safe zone before someone shoots you from a thousand yards away or all of a sudden they're in a room where there's no possible way that they could get to without them having just logged in and they murder you. Mm-hmm. Now, we've had a, a, our fair share of uh, interesting situations. 
But I mean, yeah, the last time we were on, I, I started recording. We didn't make it eight minutes before we were gunned down by some mysterious force. And I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, and so, that that was Tuesday, as a matter of fact. And yeah, that was it right is after now the Saturday. Update. So, <laughs> yeah, we haven't played since then, really, because it, it gets frustrating. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I oh my god, look at the bridge over there. All right, this is gonna be fun. I have no ammo, by the way. I have eight shots, uh, and I, I think. Yeah, I got eight in the Mossberg. That's it. Well, I guess in this we go. is going to be another short video. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I guess in we go, huh? Yeah, once more into the fray, right? That's right. That's exactly what I was thinking right now. But yeah, th this game is fun, and what we're trying to do is build a community around it with, you know... We're also considering splitting off the clan a little bit and making a uh, kind of like a red team, blue team kind of situation. Because we all enjoy the PvP. You know, we want yes, to have. Yes, we do, but we want it suspense. to be fair. Yeah, we want to have that suspense and that fun of running around and uh, getting into shit. But yeah, we want it to be on even terms where it's like, hey, I'm not wall hacking or ESP modding. I, I you know. I want to hunt you for real. So we're thinking of doing like an A team, B team type of thing. You know, maybe uh, I run up a group and Super Ted runs up a group or something and we split off and, you know, have, have a little war. Absolutely. I've already got a uh, sign-up sheet going on the forums to see if we can get enough people interested to where we can actually pull it off. So, yeah, that's right. I've, I've said it twice now, but I'll say it a third time just so it sticks with you guys. Hit the join us button up at the top. Come, play with us. We don't bite unless that's what you're into. Uh, and even then, we don't bite. <laughs> well, maybe Rabid Gorilla does, but... Uh, oh yeah, I totally know. bite. Hey, get that barricade of Bob <laughs> Seriously? I just found a chocolate bar. Oh, um, my GI is so full of chocolate bars. Oh my god, a flare. Best look at that. ever. It's in a cop car. Oh look, there's a flare on top of this cop car. Alright. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I wish they hadn't have screwed the loot, but I guess they made it a little more realistic in that regard. Because you're not going to find M4s on every street corner like we were before. So no. they're definitely going to be a lot more rare. Alright, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. We're going for it. Well, thanks a lot. Come on. Ah. Good luck with it. <laughs> oh god, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, what up? <laughs> Aha! Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't think this one through, because I really don't have much in the way of, uh... Oh, God. They're on the truck! They're on the truck! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Run, man! I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> and I missed with the last one. Oh, great. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, don't come back this way. Don't come back this way. <laughs> cheap shot and bitch got a hit off on me. No! Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, pulling that group off me. Yeah, no problem. Hey, one of us is going to survive this, damn it. There's about a 99% chance it's not going to be me. No, it's probably not going to be me either since a good portion of that group split off and came back. Uh, I don't even have bandages or anything right now. 
So, um, that's a problem. Uh, there we go. I got flares, man. Signal for help. <laughs> all right, there went all my ammo. If I go forward, I'm dead. So, uh, yeah, if you could just work your way back over here, that would be just uh, fan freaking fantastic. But I'll show you guys how the group thing works. See, I can do this. Invite to group. He accepts, and bam, look at that. We have a group thing on the left side there. And then, if you look at the map, well, he still shows up as my clan buddy. But, uh... I've noticed if someone is not in the clan and they are in your group, they show up as a yellow player icon. Yeah, then why do we have a yellow guy in Campos right now? I don't know. Hmm. So, about all those meds we were supposed to find... I think I've already exhausted my uh, share that I had on me. Well, look at the bright side. When they actually implement the skills and getting experience, it's going to be so easy. Yeah, some of us will uh, max out some of our skills right off the bat. Like Super Ted. He's got like 30 freaking days of played time and done everything. That's why we call him Super Ted. He is the master of uh, zombie de destruction, let me tell you. Hey, look, a melee weapon. Yeah, that's all there is anymore. Those are right. a diamond dozen now, right? Well, that's a good thing because I never actually... Oh, shit. Were all these bodies out here before? I don't think so. Look at this one. It's a missing a leg. Hmm. All right. What do we got? Hopefully that med truck has something because I'm down to my uh, ankles here. Let me uh, dispatch this uh, hooker and uh, I'll help you out. Aim higher, man. Aim higher. All right, now, between the two of us, we've got one thing of pain pills. I'll get sleepy and meet Pete over here. All right, nothing in this van. That sucks. I hear a lot of angry things on the other side of this wall right now. Oh, there's one on the corner, and then one over by the uh, back door oh. to the fire station. Yeah, I'm inside this building. Let's see if we can find anything in here. Oh, look. Another baseball bat. Yeah, I really hope they do something. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think i got to play it more and get around a little bit more. To get a better sense of where everything is. Hey, painkillers. Thank God. Found a bottle of water in an angry zombie. Yeah, I got another bottle of water. At least uh, starving and dehydration is no longer of major concern. Nope. But surviving the incredible zombie onslaught is a little more demanding now. But I wouldn't give to actually find some ammo somewhere. Just saying. That would be nice, yes. Some shotgun shells would be lovely. Well, that parking lot looks scary. I really don't want to screw with that parking lot. No. We need to get down by the water. We need to go further in. There's a zombie around the right there. Yeah. Hopefully uh, we can find some meds inside the fire station here. We'll see. Hey, buddy. Come here. It, it would only make sense, right? It's a fire station. They have medical supplies. Maybe. 
But see, then again, the logic that the War Z devs were trying to push is that, hey, you know, this happened five years ago, so people have already come through here and uh, picked through everything. Oh, look, some flares. Well, I found a sandbag. Ooh, a bandage. I got flare, flare, double bandages, and a fireman hat. Sweet. Hooray! And my hair sticks out of it. Then you need to get a haircut, you dang hippie. Yeah, this is why we can't have nice things. Because I'm just a dirty hippie. But anyways... Oh, trying to smoke everything all the time. You know, so people ask all the time, Hey, can I play with you guys? The official answer is yes. Again, not very hard. Takes all of about three minutes. Go register on our forums. Find out all the information. When we're playing, what we're playing. You, yes, you can. Also, um, for the people who keep saying, Hey, more War Z, more War Z videos. Doing them as quickly as we can, folks. Sometimes there isn't always something going on, and nobody wants to listen to me just drone on for an hour by myself, so... <laughs> oh, is that a tack knife up there? It is, and I'm trying to figure out how to get up there. There's also a bottle of water up there. I think we found the way, huh? Oh, what do we got? We got a Kim White, holy shit! Painkillers, hooray! And we got a baseball bag, we got mini saints, we got chips. Oh, we could just live here. I think somebody was, that was the whole idea. Like, the developers were trying to be proud of themselves, like, oh, we moved all the loot to more logical locations, and did this and that, and whatever, and it's like, okay. And if you see a massive cluster of zombies, the loot is better. No, I've seen massive clusters <laughs> of zombies everywhere, and all I'm getting is nothing. A fat Massive of cluster of zombies, and you get a bag of chips. Yeah, pretty much. But that's kind of why I want to head to the crash site, man. Just imagine the clusterfuck that that is. I got. Oh! Hello! Kill Steely. No, oh, somebody got me. Oh, we may as well check this building. The The one advantage to the uh, update and them saying that they changed all the spawns is what we remember and what we've always done as far as loot runs and stuff. None of it's valid anymore, so it's kind of like we have to play the game over again to learn where everything is. Which is, you know, a nice double-edged sword. Yeah, on one hand, that's a nice thing. You know, we get to kind of re-explore... You get to re experience the game, but if you don't have a private server, it's not a pleasant experience. No. So, you know. This is what it, hey, compact scope. Damn. Nice. Nice. Yeah, our good friend uh, Super Ted found a, a pistol laser uh, down there in Norad the other day. Or today, I think. Really? Well, at least she dropped some money for my troubles. Alright, let's head over to the crash site, which is just over here. Screw this building. I was going to say, I have no idea where the crash site is at. It's over here. I suppose we could check out this building real quick since we're here anyways. Yeah, on the plus side, uh, for anyone that actually remembers from playing the game before, bandages actually heal a little more than what they used to. Cheap shot and bitch zombie. God damn it. Well, that sucks a bit. But yeah, bandages are actually good again, which is nice, since they're plentiful. I mean, I probably have a thousand of them in my global inventory. 
Well, uh, I have managed to amass quite a few just in my explorations of today. That's good. Alright, this is probably going to end badly, but I'm going to find out. Alright, where are you, buddy? Alright. I'm right behind you. So yeah, gaining XP is going to be easy now. Provided you can live and aren't overrun. Which is remarkable that we haven't been. We've actually been pretty smart about this, except for, you know, my little job. Yeah, we got a little, we got really lucky over there. Alright, we'll see what this is. We'll go see what the tents are to the, uh, whatever direction that is, and then we're going to call it. And yeah, uh, as another, ooh, armor. Uh, as another bit of uh, thing for people watching right now, we're also open to ideas of what anybody else has about what we should do. Any kind of, I don't know, I mean, what can we do on the private server? What kind of fun can we have? If anybody has any interesting ideas or thoughts, we'd love to hear them. And there are a few that are uh, bouncing around amongst the uh, community regulars, and uh, we are always open to others and to see if we can actually get those to work. But yeah, this has definitely turned into more zombie survival than uh, player survival, that's for sure. Yep, but I mean, the... look at the range that that one came after me from. Oh, she hit me. You bitch. Bitch zombie. Oh my god. We gotta cut right. I think, yeah. I gotta kill Steve over here. Alright, well you kill Steve. I just killed his wife, Betty. <laughs> yeah, that's why she got up, because she was mad. If there's anything up here... Hey, a hammer. Probably not. Oh, crap. Great, great. You ran up the stairs and pulled two in. I did. I did. You got this. You got this. Machete. You're a pro. Alright. Look at all these zombies. They're having a little block party out here. Look at this. They even have a little tent set up. Looks like we got a teddy bear backpack over there. Those have become the norm. Yeah, I kind of wish that they were better than just regular small backpacks, though. Oh, fuck this. Oh, God. Oh, great. Jerry just came up behind me and hit me in the back. Freaking security guard over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've made friends. A lot of friends. So Good, check you the keep area. Your friends. Yeah, yeah. So uh, go ahead. Oh, my God. So you go ahead and check the area. Uh, I've got the locals pissed off sufficiently. Oh, no, we got armor and a helmet. Awesome. K-style helmet. I don't have one of those. Oh, very nice. And so you hang out there with your group. Uh, nope, gotta go. Gotta go. They were starting to climb the vehicle. Great, we got mini saints here in the little micro store. Okay, woof. I found a way they can't get me. Uh, maybe. I think this is cheating. I need to get a better angle so I can see exactly what you got going on there. Endless zombie farm. Hey, a baseball. Nice. 
Hey, bitch, get off my platform! Oh, that's great. Except for when the random ass one climbs up the wall and scares me half to death. Well, the other thing that's happened is they seem to have made zombie corpses insta-disappear. I don't like that so much, but, uh, you know, I'm not a developer. So. Alright, I don't know where else to go in Boulder, to be honest. Let's head back towards the start, and then I guess we'll just head out of town and be done for the day? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, you want to see the mess that is the front door? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Give people a nice, uh... Nice view of the population of Boulder. I mean, a couple guys came here today just to check it out, and the front door was just ridiculous. We stood there for a while thinking, oh, yeah, we got this, we can take them. And then it was quickly, no, we can't, no, we can't. Alright. Did you heal me, or did the can of soup just heal me? I think can of soup does some health. It does a fair chunk. I'm okay with this. Because I... I I'm on a lot of meds. Aw, oh, bitch hit me. Damn it. I do not like these zombies. Well, not one bit. God, things are just so... Barren out here. I don't know if this is just the private servers that are this empty or what, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Our one attempt at the public server did not end so well. Yeah, it did not last long, that's for sure. See, because what they did, there used to be like 200 private or uh, public servers. So now, oh, hello. More than I can handle, I think. Oh, it's only two of them. Except for the one that phased through the trailer and hit me. That's my monies. Ha! My money. No! Anyways, um... Yeah, I don't know if it's just private servers that have crappy spawns or if this is across the board. But they did have about 200 uh, public servers. And now they have 100 public servers. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, they have upped that, actually. It's 150 now. Oh, is it? Okay. I am down to my ankles. I don't think we're gonna make it to the front door. I don't think we are. Nope, I didn't make it to the front door. That oh shit, did you just die? Bitch. Oh my god, this is not good. Not good, because I'm not going to be able to get off this trailer. And good luck, hopefully uh, none of them phase up there on there with you. One's trying, one's trying. Get off my lawn, that's what I say. Well, if you can, grab my military ruck, which is actually yours. Yeah. <laughs> from the last time? <laughs> yeah, from the last time. I've been carrying it and using it this whole time. Okay. So, what's the situation here? I'll take the machete, the water, the riot shield... Yeah. You yeah. had tons of stuff, didn't you? Yeah, I had lots of food and, and drink and I ran all out of meds. Alright, I'm down to no free bag slots here, so hold on. We need to dump some things. Or put on the military ruck. Yeah, see like I go into my GI. When I started playing I had no bandages, now I have twenty two in my GI. 
got a med kit I found. I've gotten like three more pairs of binoculars. All kinds of stuff. The antibiotics are the only meds that I am barely finding any of. Yep. Well, I am going to just log myself out on the top of this here truck where I assume it's safe. And, uh... That's going to be the end of this little adventure until uh, your character can respawn. I was able to pick everything up, so all your stuff is here. Excellent, excellent. So with that, thank you guys for watching, and do remember to uh, register on our forums. Come join us on our private server. Yeah, like and, like and subscribe, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I, I never say that. I always figured that if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. So, all right, folks. Thanks for watching.